Heading out to the coastal race area today was a good sign. The winds were looking better and this proved to be the case with the racing class first off the start line. Two windward leewards for racing and sports boats and longer coastal courses were set for the rest of the fleet. With two line honours in the first two days, the crew on overdrive in club class were sailing well under the watchful eye of skipper Brent McInnes. Today's racing was great, we were all a little slow out of bed after last night's party which was a, a good night out and um, we had enough breeze to start the day and enough breeze to conduct the race right up until I think it, it died moments before we went over the finish line. But um, yeah, it was a good course and um, everyone seemed to be having a good time out there today. However, Overdrive were beaten into second by the Japanese crew on Fortissimo 8, with previous leader Mai Toy scoring a DNF and slipping down the series rankings. In Ocean Rover class, Evelyn suffered their first loss today to Simon Morris and his crew on the 1935 schooner Sirius, while Shanti continued their winning ways in the White Sail class, with only one minute separating them from Optoloi on corrected time. The international crew on Dreamtime in the bareboat class have put in a good performance so far with two wins to date. And today their experience of sailing in light conditions came to the fore as they made it three from three. Yeah, look it was an interesting day. Um, we started off with a little bit of wind and uh, we didn't have a very good start. Um, but once we got out in clear air everything went pretty well. The wind dropped off later on so it was quite tough, it was, it was hot. Um, but generally it was a good day. I've got a crack crew, I've got three guys down from, um, from Phuket, one's a Polish lady, uh, I've got two mates up from Perth um, and they're all good sailors and they're all keen and you know they're doing all the right things. The boat's, the boat's humming and um, yeah we're, we're having a great time. After more than three hours of racing in IRC1 class and a dying breeze near the finish, Phoenix came out on top with Skybird coming through to take second. It was all change in the multi-hull racing class today as Miss Saigon ruined Mojo's perfect record with a well-deserved win. Less than 30 seconds separated the two after almost four hours of racing. In multi-hull premiere, series leader Prima Donna slipped into third with the win going to Ivory Street. In the hotly contested sports boat class, SMU found their rhythm and took the first win of the day, with ATM adding another win to their tally in the final race. Two races for the racing class and two more wins for Hi-Fi, with Hong Kong's Jellic scoring a second in race one and Singapore's Walla Walla 2 a second in race two. Most classes remain wide open, with just two days to go at the 2013 Royal Langkawi International Regatta.